you know, in the grocery stores, it seems to be going pretty nuts. Food? Uh, well, actually, it's funny, we're working that out at the moment. A new report from the BC Centre on Disease Control suggests buying everything needed for a basic nutritious meal is too expensive for some BC households. And going hungry is just the beginning of the health impacts. And once they, you take away housing and then you take away uh, the cost of food, um, those people who are maybe living on income assistance or disability assistance, um, they don't have a lot left, or in fact, it may be out of reach uh, to have a healthy diet based on this. The BCCDC looked at how much a family of four would pay every month for a nutritious food basket filled with about 60 items Health Canada says make up a healthy diet. The report says from May to June last year, it was $1,263 in BC. In the Vancouver Coastal Health Area, it was $1,311. Where we are actually putting ourselves on a budget, literally getting a certain amount of money out of the bank, and that's for food, and that's it. The report says food and living costs continue to increase, and the whole country is experiencing historic inflation levels. Jeff McKee says the food insecurity that comes with this puts a huge burden on BC's healthcare system. So we can see impact on physical health. We can see uh, broader impacts in families. Um, uh, for example, food insecurity has been associated with increased risks of childhood asthma, as well as low birth weight newborns. We can see uh, impacts on mental health. McKee says while the report doesn't focus on solutions, it shows the main thing affecting food insecurity is not grocery prices, but income. Um, I think this just emphasizes the importance of continuing to consider how we're addressing the cost of living and, and, and these financial challenges that folks are experiencing in today's day and age. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.